hey guys welcome to the youtube channel if you're new here it's ndagre thanks for coming guys in today's video this is something that i've been tagged on tiktok all the time and i was like you know what why not talk about it so let's get into the video what up y'all i'm here still in dr i missed my flight last night i just got off the phone with spirit i'm waiting on him to call me back it's a hundred dollar reschedule fee uh I basically, I need to. I need a cash app, guys. I need a cash app to try to get this fee together, man. I'm so sick right now. I'm sick as hell. I've been trying to call Kayla because I know she's like in the area. So I was trying to call her to like set something up to where I can get like some actual money because I'm hungry. I have very little bread left i maybe got like 15 dollars i'm just calling on the subscribers now to see can i get another hundred to uh to get the reschedule fee they try to make me book for a whole nother ticket i can argue with that guy i don't got them customer service with spear for about had to be at least 45 minutes i'm damn near i don't know if y'all can hear i didn't lay up lost my voice yelling between yelling up there and then yelling at customer service yeah man this trip turned out to be so bad yo i took a man yeah, this trip was so crazy guys and yo guys they they took everything they took so I am this person who comes here I'm calling my African descendants, men and women, to try and come into the continent and, you know, see different parts of the world and how we as Africa have diversity, how we are culturally different, and just to see your motherland. And not just in a sense of relationships, but also in a sense of tourism or development, economic, and any other sector that you might feel that you are comfortable with. But most times I advocate for relationships because that's the only way you can build roots and grounds into your family. But then I was tagged in this video and when I watched it, guys, I paused and then I felt disappointed. But I was like, you know what, at the end of the day, these are the things that are going to happen, whether we like it or not, because not everyone is going to come with good intentions and not everyone is going to come in the right ways. And this is the case. The last time I made a video, it was about Passport Bros on how they should go to see other places if they feel the Western world is not suited for them or is not appreciative of what they have to offer. But still, I did not want to attack black women in the sense that when I call my African descendants, I'm calling everybody. And then this video comes out. And this is an African-American guy who went to the Dominican Republic and apparently he stuck at the airport. He missed a flight and he's making a video asking for a hundred dollars. That is in my money, 300,000 shillings in Ugandan money. That is cheap money, honestly. To me now, as a Ugandan, that is really cheap money. And the fact is, He's calling out to his mom and sister. And this is why I come here and I do not like the animosity that we as black people, as people have, that we have to attack ourselves as women and men. Because look at him. He, I don't, I don't know. It's like he was kind of excited because of the movement. Like he went on a trip without a budget, out of excitement. Apparently there was no accounting done. That's what I'm saying and maybe he's a bit irresponsible because if you even knew you're on a budget why would you miss your flight because if i know that i don't have any money left on me i should be at least punctual to get and get on my flight but he clearly missed it and these are the things that actually black women say that you need to own up to your your mistake because it's his mistake he missed the flight in the first place he didn't do good accounting to come into the DR in the first place. He didn't take good precautions when he was coming into the country. And that is not what I advocate for. I am going to tell you point blank. I am not going to come here and lie to you that when you get your passport is what is more important. Let me tell you, 
I am a different generation from my parents. Women today in Africa or, you know, whatever you will find yourself, they are at a different state. Yes, we might know how we should be with men or whatever. And also men know how to be with women. But when it comes to women, we are different now. You know, I know the currency of the US. I know the currency of Europe, right? And so if I know that you are from abroad, I will know how to handle you. At the end of the day, I don't want you guys to come and be scammed because of your currency. Because you also need to put that in consideration. And let's be real. There's no way you're going to come into Africa per se for one month, two months. I think you're going to get a good wife. Like, let's not lie ourselves. Okay, it can happen because, you know, love can happen. You can see someone and hearts meet. And that happens. But if you are really serious about moving specifically to get another person in your life who will appreciate you or love you like a man or a woman, you need to at least six months down the road stay in that country. And also before you even think of leaving your home country, whether in the West or wherever, even Africans to leave Africa to go find love in other places, Let's be organized, let's research, let's have communications with people before we leave our countries. Don't leave your Western world before talking to anybody in the African continent, before talking to some people in the continent. Try to communicate and reach out to people that are in the country that you want to go to. Make friends online so that when you come, you have people who are going to at least help you navigate the place and understand. Try to learn a bit of the culture, a bit of the language. As a person, try to be a bit smart. Like, try to learn things before you go to another country. Previously, I also made a video of a passport bro who went to Brazil and he didn't even know how to say hello in Brazil. Like, what are you doing in the country? If you can't even talk to people, like, in small details, why are you there? Like, let's be for real. And the other one is saying how everything was stolen, they took everything. Guys, of course, if you don't make friends, if you don't have people around you that are from the country that you're in, fraud is going to happen because at the end of the day, let me not come here and lie to you that Africa is a very organized place. We are what we are, but still there's going to be a bit of, you know, some details that you need to actually be vigilant as a person. On those matters first research on how the culture is because let's face it if you were to travel just as a tourist and let's say you're going to go to an islam country i'm pretty sure you're going to research a bit and know how women dress or how men dress or how people behave a bit so why not when you're coming to africa why not when you're going to the caribbean why not when you're traveling to other countries why not put in the effort for you to learn before you even get your passport or your ticket to go to other countries that you want to go to. Like, guys, let's be real. Let's not use the excitement of passport bros. And actually, passport bros has been happening because if you look into history, black men have not been doing it. It's been white men through time that have been dominantly passport bros but because you know when black people touch something it apparently goes viral it apparently becomes you know famous it becomes known and that's why now it's kind of a big issue but also the fact that i really want to bring out is that the guy who is asking for a hundred dollars to go home is calling out to his mom and his sister but when you get online, you're going to see videos of passport bros saying things about Western women, specifically black women, on how they are different, which I can accept. But let's not forget that we all as a group are here today because of some certain systems that were implanted in us. Because I don't think all women in the Western world are not wife material. Because I believe... There's those that are really appreciative of their men and they are black women in the West. They are those that are appreciative of their men that are white women. Let's not generalize that all Western women are not worthy to be wives. So we can all have an understanding. We can all navigate and go to other places. But let's not create an animosity between us because now this man is stuck in DR for a hundred dollars he has fifteen dollars left in his wallet i'm like really and then he's calling out to his mom and sister those are women those are black women which 
men are coming here to say they are not wife materials make it add up so let's not attack each other let's just have conversations because at the end of the day we are the ones that are going to be still suffering like i keep saying when you attack a black man you're attacking your community when you attack a black woman you are still attacking your community when you say western women or black women in the diaspora are not wife materials you're degrading your women when you say black men are not worthy to be men you're degrading black men i don't want to see that guys so i just want to let you know come in the continent with a bit of the doubt that not everything is going to still work out well for you it might yes but it still might not so let's put that in consideration guys passport bros passport sisters let's please not travel with the excitement that i have a passport from the uk from america from you know first world countries you have to really understand that africa is not an easy place also it needs a lot of mind and control i say this because i've lived in africa all my life right and i know how it is the same way i don't think it will be easy for me if i just come to america or europe without any accounting yeah i think i'll be in big 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 trouble and let's not generalize yeah that happened and i don't know what to say about it i just want to send him love and i hope that next time when he wants to travel to any other place he goes with a bit of cautiousness because apparently he had left it somewhere and it needs to be recovered like please don't come to us with that kind of mentality that you have the passport you're american you're european that we are going to give you more privilege because of a passport you know you need to come with some sense of development as a person and that is what i'd advocate for because at the end of the day when you set your roots in africa you're still going to be attached to it and you will want to see it develop yeah so guys that is it for today i hope you liked the video please comment and tell me what you think please tell me what you really really think about the situation and as always don't forget to subscribe if you're new here please don't forget to hit the notification bell and to subscribe and as always if you want to talk to me the links are in the bio thanks for the support and everything guys i love you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye